In this series of tutorials, we'll be walking through the CAE June 2008 database exercises. I'm using here Access 2010. Um, if you're using uh, Access 2007 or 2013, there might be a few little uh, minor changes, but nothing too different. Now this is the screen I get when I first open Access. Now what I've got to do um, first of all is um, import the CSV file that you can download from Blackboard. So I give my database a name, uh, June 08 let's say, and then I've just got to browse for where I want to save the access file itself. I'm going to be a bit lazy and just save it on my desktop. So now I've got june08.accdb, which is the Access 2010 file extension. Now I go create. If I close this table, because there's nothing in it, uh, it will be deleted. Now we come to question 37 in the June 2008 exam. It says using a suitable database package, i.e. Access, import the file j8prods.csv. So remember, we go up to external data and CSV is a type of text file. All we have to do here is browse for it. As I said, I've got it on my desktop. There it is. And click open. Don't change anything else. Go OK. On this screen, just click next. Now on this screen, all you have to do is check first row contains field names. And if you notice, now we've got the headings of our columns or fields. Uncheck it, they're part of the data. Check it, they're separated, and they're the field names. Press Next. Now this is really important on the screen. The default data type is text um, on many of these. And when I look at the paper, I can see that's exactly what I want. So category, country are both text. But code, it says, is numeric or integer. I could leave it at long integer, but I'm just going to change it to the shorter one. Then we've got text, stock is integer, reorder is integer. Now we come to a different one. Price is currency. So let's click that. And this is the screen, the Boolean field, where it's really important to set. If you don't set this to yes, no on this screen, you'll have trouble later. And you'll actually lose some records on the import. And then finally, notes are text. And we don't need a primary key, we're just dealing with one flat file database, one table, so I'm going to check no primary key. All that means is that I don't have an extra column. Press next. If we want to give our table a name, we can by going up here, but I'm just going to leave it as the default and press finish. Double click the object over here to open up the table. Now we can see things like the price has got the currency, um, and but special field is zeros and negative ones. We want this to say yes and no. So we've got one last thing we've got to do. Go to the Home tab, press the Design tab, and now this is where we set our data types. We already knew that many of these uh, we've already set. Currency, I'm just going to confirm down here that's the dollars, and it'll pick up 2DP if it's set to currency anyway. Now this is where I change zeros and negative ones to yes and no. I change the format to yes, no, and I just have a quick look in the lookup field, and it should be set to text box by default. If it's not, just choose text box from the pull-down menu. Press next. 